Hello there. Well, it's been a while, and I thought I would give everyone an update on the three-barrel and the two-barrel aquaponic system. Now, over here, we have a kind of a laundry bag, I think they call them, made out of mesh, and we've got some young tilapia fry. And in there, I don't know how much you can see. Um, we keep them in there until they get a bit bigger. Filter barrel, filter barrel is over in there. And then we were just growing algae and some plants and things over there. Uh, but after a while, the algae got so um, prolific in there, we decided to put the, the tilapia in there. And they have been growing and they have eaten a um, great portion of all of the, the algae out of that system. And it seems to be doing really well there, so we just left them there for now. And uh, really what I call, a, I guess I've been calling it a single barrel system, is this two barrel system here. And uh, it's a single barrel for the fish. And it looks like it's about to cycle, maybe in just a moment. All we have in it right now is just some goldfish. I don't know if you have too many of them down there, probably not. It's just about to cycle. This fills up on the top. But we put some more plants in. They seem to be doing really well. And it fills up. And in just a moment, it'll the siphon loop will, it will come over there. And it will begin to siphon. And so it will flow full force. We went ahead and put the two small holes underneath in case the pump ever uh, died or the electricity went out when it was in the grow beds were in full um, full flood. We didn't want to um, have the plants drown and we didn't want it to be at a low water level for the fish. And so they constantly pour just a little bit like that, just a little stream. And uh, so it gives extra aeration as well, as you can see. So it seems to be doing a really good job of that. And it's still just to take a minute. Everything functioning, as you can see. It's pouring out back there. And there, it's almost totally full. Looks like it's about ready to go. So it usually does that for just a few minutes or so. And we'll go full force there. Yes, got it. <laughs> so what happened, of course, is that the water finally made it to the same level, see there, in the grow bed as the top of that siphon loop that goes down. And it goes down to the bottom of this T, which is right in between the drain of both the beds. And it wraps back around, back around, and then up, and the water follows the path of least resistance. And when it fills up, and it goes into the drain mode. So in these grow beds, as you can see, boy, they start draining, and they go down quick. So, but we've got some, we're trying a Japanese eggplant, some strawberries, uh, an heirloom tomato. And we'll see, we don't have many fish in there, probably only about uh, 10 or 12 goldfish. But we may need to have a bigger fish load, but uh, we'll keep a, keep a watch on it. But the tilapia seems to be doing really well. Let's see if we can get a picture of them out here. How are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. They saw me. And they quickly disappeared to the bottom. Sometimes they can be really feisty and they'll come up and even nibble your fingers, but you fed them a little bit ago and so they're not really interested much right now. So both of them are working and uh, doing great. We're really enjoying everything and looking forward to the tilapia growing up.
everything seems to be working great right now. So we'll let you know some more about it. The garden is doing well. We have sweet corn pretty soon. We took out some of the uh, whole beans. They uh, had a bit of a yellow leaf wilt, and so we decided to take them out for now. The beautiful zinnias are doing great. <laughs> I love the old-fashioned zinnias. And with the tomatoes. Certainly a lot better than when we first started, and the fish are a lot bigger, and uh, I think everything's going really well. would encourage anyone to try it on their own. Give me a, a holler if you'd like to know some more information. I'll do my best to provide it for you. Have a great day, everyone.